Welcome to Dan ERG YouTube. Apostle Alfred talk about courtism and some parents we know they raise their picking where. And he also talk about some girls, some of our girls, the way that they behave. So make I give una time now, make una tell listen to Apostle Alfred for waiting in talk or signing all these people for this video. I beg, make I apologize before you start. The video, the sound, they break, but no be so the sound, they break all throughout. As you they listen, they go, the sound go day okay. So make I leave you now with the video. Look at the Benin city today. Cottage everywhere. They are killing themselves. Why are they killing themselves? He, he match my leg. He take my girlfriend. Finish. He cost my papa. Finish. Every day you must have killing in Benin. You must have killing. They keep... Oh God. Primary school. There was an incident that happened in one of the primary school, secondary school. That the teacher ran away from the school. He me college. They ran away because students came in with cutlass, with gun, with bottle. They started destroying everything. Who to be blamed? The parents. Because they said, don't, don't flog my child. If you dare flog them, they will, they will fight you. 16 years old girl putting on eyelashes, masquerade. You call it fashion? We have to kill this courtism in our society. We have to kill courtism in our society now. Parents, call your children to order now. Discipline them. If your son belongs to any court, call your son immediately. Enough is enough. Discipline that child now. Let teach the child, let that child know the danger in it. Look at what happened in Benin. Those, uh, 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 what you can call them, uh, 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 the people that are laying a for their children. Go and look at it. Their children, they've sold all their property because no, no value. They sold all. So why laboring for things that, that your children will not come to, 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 to take care of? The best thing you can do for your children is to give them high moral discipline. Tell them that this is wrong. Teach them. I've read it before in the book of Proverbs. When we're growing up, you dare not come up with a boy or girlfriend. You say, now my girlfriend is here. Yeah, yeah, how? Slap when you retreat for your face and you will know, you will know the kind of power will burn you. But today, you see children coming home. Yes. Get 16 years old, 12 years, coming home with their boyfriend. I'm going to say, hey, I say, when I'm here. You say, hey, I say, when I'm here. They enter the room after having sex. Ah. And the parents say, okay, continue. You'll be clapping for them. And courtesy is already on the increase. If you go to our primary school, courtism. If you go to the secondary school, courtism. University, that is the grandfather. So we're going to be looking at how courtism became the order of the day in our institution and in our society. We'll look at this area so that we'll know, so we'll know where the problem came from and the solution to it. So our first scripture this morning, our first scripture this morning, we will look at Proverbs chapter 26, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Father, we ask for your hand to rest upon our network today. This network will function where we command the devil to withdraw his hand. We declare the atmosphere free in the name of Jesus. The airwave will, will respond to our network this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Look at what happened. Look, look at what happened in Proverbs 26, verse 2. Proverbs 22, 6, sorry. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. We'll look at the scripture. We'll look at the scripture. Now see, train up a child. <laughs> train up a child in the way he should go. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. From it, first scripture, second scripture, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15. Proverbs 22, verse 15. Then later I'll begin to explain this scripture. Then we go straight to the business of the day because we need to know where the parents have failed, where the teacher has failed, and where our leaders have also failed. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15. Look at what happened. The Bible says, Foolishness is bound. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of God. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. 
pride, the rod, Labakosata, the rod of correction will drive, drive it far from him. The rod of correction will drive it far from him. I'm told again, Proverbs 22, verse 15. I am reading this chapter again, Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of correction will drive it far from him. The rod of correction will drive it far from him. Now, also let's also go back to Proverbs chapter 29, verse 17. Proverbs 29, 17. Take note of this scripture because we are looking at moral dignity in our society. Oh, bad network. Satan, you are a liar. Barabakota. Satan, you are a liar. The network must respond. The network must respond. Nonsense. The network must respond. Yes. All right. Proverbs 29, 17. Proverbs 29, 17. I hope the network is okay now. Oh, network very bad. Wow, 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 wow. Holy Spirit, bring back this network now. Proverbs 29, 17. And I hope it's getting better. I hope it's getting better. I hope it's getting better now. I hope it's getting better. I hope it's getting better. <sighs> All right. Proverbs 29, 17. Proverbs 29, 17. Look at what the scripture said. Correct your child. Correct your child. Correct your child, correct your son, correct your daughter. Proverb 29 17. Proverb 29 17. It says, Correct your son, correct your son, and he will give you rest. When you correct your son, when you correct your daughter, they will give you rest. They will give you rest. Yes, he will give delight to your soul. Yes, if you keep. Okay, let me go back again. Proverbs 29, 13. Correct your son and your daughter. And it will be Yes, it will be delight to your soul. Now, if you check the scripture I have read this morning, I will start from Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 15. Then Proverbs chapter 29, verse 17. There are a lot of scripture still coming but i just want to look at this area let's go back to proverbs 22 verse 6 then i will explain then you begin to see where parents have failed where we have failed where we have failed where we have failed let's go back to proverbs 22 verse 6 again the bible says train up a child the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it he will not depart from it. Now, you discover today in our society, a lot of parents fail to train their children the way they should go. They, they, they refuse to correct them. If they correct that, I don't know what you can do. The rod of correction is the king. The rod of correction is the king. Now, most parents find it difficult to cane, to flog their children whenever they, they do anything wrong. They say, egg, 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 leave it. You want to give the child mark. Don't flog my child. Why do you want to flog my child? Leave my child for me. Do you know how I, do you know how I managed to conceive the child? Do you know how many hours I scream in the hospital bed? Do you know how I, I, I suffered in the labor ward? So, parents automatically refuse to correct their child. It's in Proverbs 22 verse 15. They refuse to flog the children. When the children err, eh, when the children commit an offense, they refuse to correct that child with Cain. Cain does not kill any child. But you know where to flog the children. You understand? You create your anger. You know where to correct the children. But today, parents grow up. They allow their children to grow up in the name of Ah. Now, small picking, it go change. Now, small picking, it go change. Now, small picking, it go change. That, that was how they began to grow. They began to grow to a point that the parent does no longer have control over those children. Today, you see children beating their parents. Why do you know who is responsible? It is the parents. 
because they failed to correct the child. Because they failed to correct their children. The Bible says, because when you train your children the way they will grow, by the time they grow old, they will not depart. So a lot of children are actually departing from, oh God, because parents failed to train, because parents failed to control or correct the children. So that one is alone has not given for high moral decadence in our society which has also opened room for courtism amongst children if you go to a primary school you see courtism begin to wonder what is happening students are not changing their, their teachers away from the class you see some coming to school with bottle with knife glass you see them coming to school with bottle and knife to chase lecturer out of the class i'm talking about primary school now now, when you go to a secondary school, they what? You see them uh, fighting with the lecturer. And this moral decadence, you see a lot of parents began to give their children cell phone. They give them address phone. Do you know why? They said they want their children to be Y2K compliance. They want their children to be up to date. No, no. Now, by the time you are not there, the children begin to back and they go through information that they are not supposed to go through. Now, those information they gathered will begin to build them up. And you are not there to correct them. Even when they even later in the day, you can't even check the phone to look at the sites that they brought through. Because that's a part of the training. Because the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. Now, if you buy them an Android phone, monitor what they are doing with their phone. But most parents do not care. They don't bother to check what their children are going through on the internet because a lot of evil, wrong information is being spread on the internet. And the children go straight to the internet while some go to the to go to pornographic sites. They began to look at rubbish that they ought not to look at. Now you discover that the children began to learn how to masturbate. Children begin to learn how to have sex with themselves without you not knowing. Do you know why? Because you gave them the hundred phone, you gave them computer. You don't check commit them. Now you were supposed to train these children the way they should go. Even if you are giving them food, tell them this era digital you shouldn't go. In fact, most see why a 14 year old I train for now. Yeah, that's the truth of the matter. That is, even I told them we use it, you need to monitor what they are doing. You need to monitor their activities. Now, if you look at our society today, the large joke of irresponsible parents we have today. We have a big irresponsible parents everywhere in our society today. Are clearly responsible. The irresponsible responsible parents are clearly responsible. They are clearly responsible for the more decadence that are common with children and teenagers all over the world. Every parents you meet talk about the good old days. They talk about good old days. When children were brought up with sound moral and ethics measure. Why is it that parents who are privileged to have received such quality upbringing in time past are the ones bringing up useless, irresponsible children and moral decayed children with little or no regard? To societal norm and value. There is something serious wrong. And parents should take the blame for the shameful and troubling failures in our society. Parents should take the blame. Parents should take the blame. It is an irony. The truth is that parents have addicted their primary responsibility of building up their homes and family in pursuit of wealth. In pursuit of wealth, riches, material things, career, pleasure, and fun. And have developed all manner of excuses to justify their negligence of this moral duty. All to the detriment of the children who are now growing into monsters. Our children, their children are now growing into monsters. <laughs> and become terrible and taking over our society. While we were growing up, you genuinely misbehave. When you do that, that day we use cane to bullala us. In fact, we grow up in an atmosphere of street, I mean street monitoring. 
you leave the house, you come back by 7 p.m., you will, you will, if I will answer to our parents, we will tell them, we will have to give them explanation. But today, our children will leave the house, they will come back by 10 p.m., the daddy will say, oh, we're working on Rainier. What an insult. And you are blaming the government? You have no right to blame the government because you have failed in your responsibility. Your child will come home with a brand new phone. You will not ask that child, how did you get the phone? You will not bother to find out how did that child get the phone, either male or female. You just, ah, if only when I'm say that the end, you won't ask, how did you get the money to acquire such phone? The child will just assume it is normal because you refuse to correct that child. While we're growing up, if we steal granite, enough bitchy mark for our body, but today, the child will steal that more money. We say, well, leave them, it's just a child. Part of the moral decadence in our society today, while we're growing up, our parents never gave us money to go to school. To buy anything in school, never, never. So we find it difficult to how? How you want to see money? But today, mom will prepare lunch, uh, lunch for the food bag, uh, food uh, lunch pack for the children. I also give them money to buy sweets, to buy biscuit, to buy what? Automatically, you are teaching them how to steal, how to steal. Give them money to buy things in school after preparing lunch for them. Now, if I told you do not give them lunch, what stop you from waking up early in the morning to prepare the lunch for them? You give them money, they'll start buying things in school. And you tell me they will not steal. You are the one that trade them that way, and they will go ahead. And this moral decadence, because of the failures of the parents, you see our children are going about with pants. Wearing pants in the street, you can't even correct them. Pants in the street. While we are growing up, you, 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 you can't, it is difficult for you to see a lap of a woman. How? How you want to say that? Because the discipline was high. The discipline was high. <laughs> but today, nobody cares. They call it Y2K compliance. Let, uh, we call it jet age. Jet age. Because of jet age, you no longer have time to take care of your children. Even some parents will go ahead to buy this rubbish for their children to wear. Do not put on Facebook, my daughter, she's sexy. You are opening her up for immorality. You are opening that child up for immorality. You put them up for immorality. That's the reason why the high rate of immorality today among the male and children is, is alarming. You know why? Because the parents have failed to caution the children. Because we parents have failed to call them to order. If some parents go to the market to buy this mini skirt, this pants for the children to wear in the but when, but you, find a lap, you cannot you cannot see a lap of a woman you is you, you want to see them because the discipline was high but today nakedness had come order of the day which is part of the moral decadence in our society who to be blamed the parents because when you will correct the children the parents say what be man what boy who say we are your boy they will indirectly tell you go and give back to your own are you the one that gave back to the why are you correcting my children then, when the student misbehave, the student is always afraid of the teacher. What we call corporal punishment in school. Corporal punishment. The, student, the teacher will lie you down and give you some stroke of the cane of your bonbon. But today, when a teacher corrects a child, the parents will carry fights to the school to fight that teacher. Why you go flog my picking? Ah. And the child will grow up with that to say, ah. Yeah, my, my dad came to school, my mom came to fight my lecturer with me. I am li I, I have liberty to fight with my lecturer. You begin to fight your teacher. Shame. Shame. Moral values are an essential part of our culture. And by not adopting this moral value, we destroy our culture. We destroy our culture. While we're growing up, when a child finishes eating, he will, he or she will go down. We will go down our knee to say "Kada Baba," to say "Thank you, Daddy," "Thank you, Mommy." We go down our knee. But today, the child will finish eating. We we'll just go straight to the parlor or to the room. He will tell Mom, "Thank you, Mom." But remember, the Bible says, "Train up a child in the way he should go." So when that old, he will not depart from it. The child will just it, just, it is normal. He will, in fact, the child will leave the plate. On the dining for you, mama and daddy to come and pack the plate. And you guys say, okay, my son, oh, you now pack the plate. 
moral decadence in the society and you are blaming government? You think you need to blame yourself? Even those in abroad, they, our children cannot be that bad. Even when they have liberty, once you train them well, they will never follow the pattern of the Western world. Because in Africa, we have a culture. Immediately you guys travel out of the country, you destroy the culture. Even those in Nigeria, they destroy the culture. When we were growing up, our, my parents told that they taught me how to greet elders. Yes. You genocide elders and pass. You greet them. Lamogu, Lagesan. But today, the child will share an elder, they will pass. They will pass. Did we pass? They can't say good, good news, sir. Do you know why? Because the parents fail to teach them how to greet. They fail to teach them the reason why they know how to greet. They fail to do that. So, you see the children and see everybody as their mate. Part of the moral decadence in our society. Children and see everybody as their mate. They don't even know how to greet. They will see an elderly man, they'll be waiting for the elderly man to greet them first. Error. That is not part of our culture. Error. Error. Our country first impression is, is its culture. And by neglecting moral value, we neglect our culture and by extension our, our society. The big question, however, is who is to blame for the moral decadence in our society? Who is to blame? Who does step should the bulk of this moral decadence be placed? <laughs> Many have blamed parents. Some have put the blame on them. While a quite number of persons have placed their fault at the doorstep of our political leaders. However, for us to move forward, we, we must all take responsibility for the failure of our value system. We must take responsibility of our value system. We cannot afford to trade blame or play the game the, or play the 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 the, uh, the, 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 the blade game. We don't need to play the blade game, no. Each and every one of us is guilty. Each and every one of us is guilty. And we must take a portion of the blame. We must take a portion of the blame. As parents, we have passed the wrong value to our children. As parents, we have passed the wrong value to our children. As teachers, we have taught our students the wrong values. As teachers, we have taught our children the wrong values. As businessmen, we have exemplified the wrong value in our dealing with our clients. As leader in our various fields, we have failed in modeling the right value to the people who look up to us. As such, each and every one of us must take a portion of the blame. Each and every one of us must take a portion of the blame. In the world of Jinrem, you must take responsibility. You must take personal responsibility. You cannot change the circumstances, the season, or the wind. But you can change yourself. That is something you have to change off. Each of us must take on the challenge of embracing and living by the right value. And also, modest some. We must begin to live by the right value. We must begin to live by the right value. The hour has come for us to take responsibility and initiate a value change. This is the time we need to initiate a value change. You see some businessmen, they compromise. In our society, they compromise. They teach their, their, their employee how to cheat. They teach them how to cheat. I told you of my experience last week. They teach the people how to cheat. You see some parents will send their children to the market. They directly or indirectly teach, teach their children how to cheat their customer. 
You are passing the wrong value into them. And this alone has opened up serious moral decadence in our society. Serious moral decadence in our society. If our nation must change, our value must change first. If Nigeria must change, our value must change. If our society must change, our value must change. If our family must change, our value must change. If our country must change, we, our value must change. What do we place value on? Today, most parents find it difficult to spend time with their children. Why? Because in pursuit of wealth and money. By 5 a.m., pow, you are out of the house. You don't bother to do devotion with the children. You take off. You define money. Pra, 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 pra. You are out of before, before the children wake up, daddy is nowhere to be found, mom is nowhere to be found. And you employ a nanny that will begin to give her, give the children her own value. If the nanny is immoral, she will begin to teach the children the other the, the immoral uh, things. By the before we return back in the evening, our children are already sleeping. Who to be blamed? Our children are already sleeping. You don't bother to go and check what is happening in their room. At times, the parents that the teacher will give the, the children homework, you don't bother to check their homework if your children have done the homework. You don't care. You don't care, you don't care to check their wardrobe. You don't bother to check the, their books. So, this, we need to sit down to say no to this high moral decadence in our society. And it must start from you and I. We also know that the social media is also playing their great role, negatively or positively. But we as parents must stand to say no to this high moral decadence in our society. Most parents, you see them, they will gather the children and say, my past life and so it be. Now, why not pass, pass that knowledge upon the children now? Why not pass it then? Children, you send a message to go and be something. You dare not try it. You dare not try it. They send you a message, you must submit to the change. But today, the children, you send a message or keep the change. They, they want you to give them the change. They want you to give them the change. And if the winner, we just say, hey, a man, they go. You, but the first thing, by the time you train the children where, if you send them an, an iron and they return, but the first thing is to return the change if there is any. Now, if you now decide to dash them, no problem. You don't bother. And you see, 18 years old boy or girl cannot even cook. You trade them up with Indomie. They don't know how to cook. Some don't even know how to boil water. And by the time those who are married tomorrow, and you expect them to have pity in their marriage, part of the cultural value is to teach your children how to cook. If you teach them how to cook, they will not become a regular customer in any uh, eatery. Then we taught our children how to buy things outside. We taught them how to buy uh, all kind of rubbish to eat. We never taught them to spend time to cook in the kitchen. We never taught them how to put my salt, how many cubes, how many do, how many this, oil. Oh, yeah. We never taught them. But I know a lot of parents are also there doing their best. They are also doing their best. So. I am, these are the area that is all, go to a restaurant today, you see children. Go to a, a, a campus, a, a environment, you see children. They line up, buy fast food. At they go, some will spend 5,000 dollars at a go. But if you have taught them how to cook, how to be prudent, that 5,000 dollars, they can use it to cook food that will take them for one month. That is the matter. That is true of the matter. So you have taught them how to be eating outside. So automatically they'll start eating, they'll start eating, they'll start eating anything they, they like. So we call it, we say enjoyment value, not be enjoyment. Rather you are destroying those children. It is not enjoyment, you are destroying them. So let us go back to begin to cultivate our, our moral value. Those things we have learned, let us begin to teach our children so that we can begin to deal with this moral decadence in our society. While we are growing up, if you see a chain in the, on, on the leg of a woman, that chain simply signifies represent to identify her as a professional prostitute. But today, we have legalized that chain. You see children, you see small, small girls, chain on their leg, they call it fashion. It is not fashion. It is not fashion. It is not fashion. It is not fashion. They have legalized it. You now see chain on their leg. 
That chain simply, simply, simply represents, I am a professional prostitute. When we agree more, when you see a chain on the leg of a woman, you just know that this woman is a confirmed prostitute. But today, we have legalized it. You see, most people cannot put a chain on their leg. They call it fashion. It is not fashion at all. It is not fashion at all. And if I open your eye to see the spiritual implication of that chain you are putting on your leg, you will be if I, you you call your children and start removing the chain from their leg. It, it actually calls for spiritual slavery. You enslave your children. When we're growing up, you dare not come home with a boy or girlfriend. You say that my girlfriend is me. How? Yeah, yeah, Slap when you retreat for your face, eh? You go know you will know the kind of papa will burn you. But today, you see children coming home. Yes. Guess, 16 years old, 12 years, coming home with their boyfriend. I'm going to say, hey, I say, when I'm here. You say, hey, I say, when I'm here. They enter the room after having sex. Ah. And the parents say, okay, continue. You'll be clapping from then. You'll be clapping. You'll grow up with that. To say, hey, now normal is a normal life. Then you see a boy, 18, 14 years old, 15, 18 years old, coming home with a gay. You can't even, you don't even bother. You say, hey, now normal life now. You'll start having, uh, uh, they start, oh God. They just let themselves. They just let themselves. You can't even control them. That's the reason you can't see. You can't see serious or wanted pregnancies. Pregnant society. Serious or wanted pregnancy everywhere. Everywhere. Before I got married by the grace of God, I never slept with any woman because of the high moral, sound teaching that I received from my parents. How? You be you will run. You be afraid. You be afraid. But today, no, you don't care. You don't care. So, before we blame our government, let's begin to look inward, because we have failed as parents. We must take the blame. We must take the blame in Nigeria and in the Western world. Nigeria children are supposed to be best in the Western world. Why? Because of the kind of culture. But immediately we went there, we, we, we threw away our culture, we adopt that culture. Now our children will not start calling police for us. If you dare touch them, they will come for you. You are the cause. If you have taught them moral, you spend time with them to teach them moral, I tell you, your children will not call police for you. Look at the Benin City today. Courts everywhere there. They are killing themselves. Why are they killing themselves? He match my leg. He take my girlfriend. Finish. He calls my papa. Finish. Every day you must be killing in Benin. You must be killing. They keep. Oh God. Primary school. There was an incident that happened in one of the primary school, secondary school. That the teacher ran away from the school. Yogbe College. They ran away because students came in with cutlass, with gun, with bottle. They started destroying everything. Who to be blamed? The parents. Because they will say, don't flog my child. If you dare flog them, they will, they will fight you. 16 years old girl, putting on eyelashes, masquerade. You call it fashion? Do you know what you are doing? You are already opening up that child, how are they way of prostitution? And she will follow it that way. This is the truth of the matter. 15 years old, 18 years old, 12 years old, you are already teaching them how to put on eyelashes. You call it fashion. It is not fashion. You are indirectly opening them up to prostitution. What happened with their natural eyelids? What happened to it? You see our children today, in the name of fashion, they spend hours on makeup. On makeup. On makeup. Or, or, what you are doing, you say you, you call it beauty. It is not beauty. You are opening, you opening room for them to go straight to immorality and prostitution. And you must take responsibility of that. I, when I, this is my experience one day. I, a young girl followed me from, if I, we entered the same keke. From, from, we, got to, we took her on that bus. I could see she entered the bus. So we started talking. How are you? How are you doing? So I needed to know her. Because that's part of my job. You, you have to chip in some things, then we'll be preached. I said, Where are you going? She said, ah, I am going to make my hair. I said, But your hair is okay. I said, No. I got to do it because if my hair is not fine, no boy will fall for me. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. That's what the guy said. He said, no, I have to look good because if I'm not, if my hair is not fine, no boy will die for me. That, that's the motive. So the motive of our guests today is when they look good, boys should be able to 
to die for them. Finish. Finish. You go to institute, you go to you go to university, you see a daughter spending one two hours making hair. The name of our one fine. The fine is not to, to no book, but so that they can have a boyfriend. We are, they put them from their home. If we have taught them to say no, no, no there's something you shouldn't do, they will not go into such act. <sighs> so, parents, we must go back to the scripture. Let's go back and begin to play our role. You don't pursue my knowledge. This is the time you need to sit down. Look at what happened in Benin. Those, uh, 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 what you can call them, uh, uh, those, uh, call them. the people that lay a mouth well for their children, go and look at it. Their children, they sold all their property because no, no value. They sold all. So why laboring for things that, that your children will not come to, 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 to take care of? The best thing you can do for your children is to give them high moral discipline. Tell them that this is wrong. Teach them. I've read it before in the book of Proverbs. Check your children. I tend to allow our children, our children wake up in the morning in the Western world and in Nigeria, they wake up in the morning, the first thing is to be playing computer game. And they are playing computer game, they are playing motor combat, teaching them how to fight. From motor combat, they, they put another game for them, teaching them how to steal. From another day, we put a, a, a cartoon film. The, most of those Disney films are highly demonic. You sit down, you'll be laughing, oh, my children will be watching those movies, your children will be watching those movies. As they are watching it, they are getting used to those things. They begin to carry it out. They practice it. With or without your consent, because you were the one that gave them the, the, the opportunity. So daddy and mommy, go back and spend time with your children. For us to deal with this, daddy, you must repent. Mommy, you must repent and take responsibility of your action. Take responsibility of your action. Then tell the children that all beds are not rosy. We taught our children that life is all about money today. How you say if a, 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 a 18 year old guy we go and buy a Toyota Venza, 2.5 million, where did he get the money from? Yahoo. And you never bother to say, my son, trading is evil. It will lead to destruction. Rather, you start enjoying the money with them. Don't worry. If you do not repent, we also use you for that ritual. The truth is bitter. We will say it the way it is. Let me give room to those who want to make call now, make contribution. Those who want to make that contribution, let me give room. You can call in now and uh, tell us your experience why you were growing up and how you have also failed in training your children. You can call now. You can call in and uh, make in your contribution. The line is open. You can call in. The line is open. So, so, some of us, we allow Nani to take care of our children. Asmid is not their father. Asmid is not mother. They can't even feel your presence at home because you are pursuing money. Some of us parents, we can spend thousands of naira to acquire a computer game for our children, but we we'll never uh, spend money on Bible study for them. We will never spend money on Bible study for them. We can decide, we can take them to go and buy PlayStation for them. Thousands of naira they will sit and be playing game. But yet, we will never buy Bible, computer Bible for them to, to begin to study the scripture. I was showing tomorrow one day. I called somebody and we began to talk. Then the, 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 the son, I asked the son, ah, how are you? He said, fine. Can you quote John 3, 16? The son could not quote it. 14 years old, could not quote John 3, 16, and the dad was laughing. <laughs> Shame. And the dad was supposed to be like, hey, 14 years old, quote John 3, 16. Dad was laughing. He said, dad, you have failed. You have failed. You have failed. So, let's go back and spend time with our children and begin to teach them good morals. Let us teach them how to greet their elders. Not the one we are seeing in Western world. That's the beauty. Oh, hi, daddy. Hi, mommy. Are you their mate? Are you guys? Say, oh, welcome, son. Let's you greet. If it is Benin, let's you greet. If it's you, Robo, let them greet their, their dialect. If it's Shekiri, let them greet you. If it's Ausa, let them greet you. If it's Ishan, let them greet you. You answer them. You teach them. 
like me, I'm here not to teach my children my language. Me, I'm also failed in that area. I also failed. I don't see my children my own being. I also failed. Every my wife keep asking me, my husband, teach your children language. Teach them. I fail for that area, but I pray help me to teach them my language because they need to know. They need to know because I also failed in that area. So let us begin to take responsibility of our action. Because when we begin to do the right thing, we will have a sound society. As part of healing our land, parents, spend time with your children, train them. Anyone that does bad, carry cane, flog that child on his bum bum. Yes, correct that child. Because if you fail to correct that child, <laughs> they will deal with you. They will slap you. In fact, they will put, use police to arrest you. Is that what we are experiencing right now in the Western world? Is that what we are experiencing? That's exactly what we are experiencing in the Western world. So, we have to kill this courtism in our society. We have to kill courtism in our society now. Parents, call your children to order now. Discipline them. If your son belongs to any court, call your son immediately. Enough is enough. Discipline that child now. Let teach the child, let that child know the danger in it. Don't take side. 12 years old child get, gets pregnant, 14 years old child getting pregnant. Mommy, shame on you. You're supposed to be ashamed of yourself. Daddy, you're supposed to be ashamed of yourself. You open your two naked eyes. You're 12 years old. You open your two naked eyes. Pregnant. And you are happy. You should, be ashamed, you should be ashamed because you have failed. Because you have failed. Mommy and daddy, you have failed. If you drive that child, you are in trouble. If you have taught that child how to, how to keep herself, how to keep... She will, she will, she will not engage in, in such immoral act. You see that? Uh, let's speak this call. Hello? Good morning, sir. Yeah, God bless you, sir. Good morning, sir. Yeah, they are good, sir. Uh, we bless God. God help us, sir. Yeah, hey, man. I'll go with the lady, policeman now. Okay. All right, they're hearing you now, sir. Hey, man, sir. People are hearing you now. Oh, it is well, sir. Amen. 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 Yeah. Where's your sir? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, all right, sir. Yeah. So, my my people, parents, start taking responsibility of our action because you are responsible. You are responsible. Take responsibility of our action. We should stop shifting blame. Your 12 years old girl cannot own gas. You have failed. <laughs> you have failed. Your, your 13 year old girl cannot even mop the house, cannot even wash the toilet, they can't even wash their clothes. Everything is machine. Whenever it is machine, teach them how to wash their clothes. Teach them how to wash their clothes. And it's more than laundry. Teach them how to wash their own dish. They should know how to take on them. They will know that. Hello, good morning. Where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning, sir. Yeah, I. wonderful topic this morning. Oh, no, sir. It's a very accurate. That clean our land, this is part of the neglect of each and every player. Because the Bible makes us understand that as you have already said, if you turn up a child in the way, 
have a role to play while we are growing up when we misbehave and when I said I'm going to report you to your teacher <laughs> you know what that means I'm going to report you to your teacher you know you are finished our head will correct you see us running up and down because we know that by the time we get to school tomorrow it's not beating but today teachers cannot even correct our children anymore you try and not beating for that teacher error 
The parent that is going to school to flog their, 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 their children teacher. Is that how you that how you are taught? Is that how you grow up? Why not religious discipline you have learned back to your children? As part of the healing, which I have been clamoring about since 2018, that God should heal the land. Everybody have a role to play. The high court is in our society responsible because we have failed to call our children to order. You see your girl coming back home with a fine skirt, and you know you were not the one that bought that skirt for her. You won't ask questions. You won't ask her any question. Because you feel that I was saying on my boyfriend. What do you mean? I was saying on my boyfriend. Oh, you have failed. You have failed. When we're growing up, teenage pre 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 pregnancy was not, if I was low, but today is now so high because we as parents have failed. Your boy will come back then. By the time our parents check our bag, there is extra barrel. They will ask us you see that normal things way of life if a parent teach their children how to steal most parents teach their children how to tell lies how do i mean somebody will come and see you at home instead of you to tell them i don't want to see anybody you say tell them i'm not at home your child will gladly go outside and tell the person i'm a papa not the house my mom because meanwhile you're at home do you know what you're just doing? You just open up a room of lie. You just taught that child how to lie. And you will reap what you are sowing. The Bible says, whatsoever well, a man sowing, say that he reap. Do you know, you, just, you are just reaping what you are sowing. You are reaping what you are sowing. You, 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 you are teaching the child how to lie. Meanwhile, you are inside. You are telling the child to tell the person that is looking for you, asking after you that you are not at home. Liar. Liar. Repent. So that your children begin to learn good things. Repent. So my father will receive a phone call where our children are. Instead of telling the person, they say, eh, I know their house, I know their house. Meanwhile, you are inside the house, and your children are listening to you. They are listening to you. You are inside the house. You are telling the person that I called you that I am not at home. Meanwhile, you are, you are, you are in your house. And your children are listening to that conversation. <laughs> uh, do you know what you are doing? You are teaching them how to tell lies and they will become a professional liars that they will even do something at home. You will ask them, they will deny. Am aware. Am aware. They will deny. So they will say, I, they will swear. They learn that from you. They learn that from you. So, Simon, let us take, let us begin to take blame of our inability to train our children the way they should go. We must not we must not throw away our culture. We must never throw away our culture. That is our bedrock of discipline. Let's go back. We should forget those Western culture we're adopting. That is not our makeup. That is not our makeup. So please let us bring back our culture. The culture of total discipline. The culture of total discipline. Let us bring it back now before it will be too late. Before it will be too late. Let us bring it back. Let us bring it back. In the name of I want my children to measure up, you will force them to go to school. You will force them to hey, enter university. You won't act that child. Which court you want to study? Hey, because uh, my neighbor's son is the doctor. I want to be. No. The children also have their will. Ask them. Oh, they begin to teach them through it. And the major area where we have really prayed, failed is the area of prayer, area of study the Bible. Most people don't have time to pray with their children. They never have time to study the Bible with their children. They're always busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Now, this quarter time period, now you are told now for the part two. Now, what have you done to your children? What have you. If I don't even know what to teach them because you don't even have it, because you cannot give what you don't have. You can't even give what you don't have. For this period now that the government said no movement all over the world, how. What, what more have you taught your children? Have you taught them how to speak their language? Have you told them how to cook? Have you told them how to sweep? Have you told them how to watch their own and the rest? Have you told them no? Have you told them how to watch the house? No. You don't bother. They wake up in the morning with the television. They will stand in the television. You go and give them food. They are, you are failed. Perfect. So let us take responsibility of our action. Let us begin to take the blame. Let us begin to tell ourselves the truth that we are responsible for the moral society. 
You see some parents help their children to write their exam. They will pay the vigilator to teach their children. Like this. You are like this. Parents will pay the vigilator to, to cheat. To give their children the, the grade they never merited. So we go and buy results for their children. You are a disgrace. Do you are teaching them? You are teaching them to become a professional thief and a 419. They will grow up in that mentality because you taught them. Because they will see it as normal thing. All these senators that are stealing Nigerian money today, don't they have parents? They do. They do. They do. We know the system is bad. Who spoiled the system? You and I. Because we refuse to build our system. We refuse to build our system. And this is the time we need to build our system. When we build our system, we will have a working system. We don't teach our children to be prudent. We don't even teach our children how to be prudent. It's operation spend. Operation spend the money. See, to teach 100 years, 100 in school. The kind of food she brought to school, that from worth 80,000 naira. 80,000 naira. That 80,000 naira, do you know how much investment? 80,000 naira for phone, a yeah, one student coming to university with 80,000 naira phone in Nigeria, and you are happy that your children want to be white 2K compliance. 80,000 naira phone. The 80,000 naira phone. 80,000 naira. Some 150,000 on iPad, Apple phone, 180,000, year one student. How much be your dad's salary? Mama, how much be your salary? Daddy, how much be your salary? When you go buy a phone for 150,000, you're picking. Make it belong. Shame. That one, that 50,000, go put for business. You are know how much you will get for a month. You know how much profit go enter your hand. You know how much you will enter your hand. Phone. One thousand Apple phone. You will be happy. Say my children, they want to make up. Continue. Doing this rubbish, they never caution them. They never caution them. They never call them to order. Say, my son, my daughter, the pastor shouldn't eat well. Never. Because we want to eat money. Where are you go? Where are you go? You want to eat money? Where are you go? Some parents deliberately send their children abroad for prostitution. Deliberately. They are going to be a Part of the moral decadence. You are the one that taught them to travel abroad and stand stealing. You will also use your head to pay for it. Because the parent told them to go and steal. Some of our daughters are in Europe today. It was not their own mind. Some of their parents pushed them into prostitution. That's you can see a girl of 70, uh, 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 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old, not married, into prostitution. Why? Because the parents said, go, Yahuigore, prostitution. Why back in Nigeria, it will be flexing your money. Use your brain. This is the time you need to talk to yourself. So my people, this is where we are going to close the cutting for today. As I've said, solution to this moral decadence in our society, number one, we must begin to take responsibility of our action. We must go back to the Bible and begin to teach the children the way of God. Then you, the parents, repent. Ask God to forgive you that you have failed. Ask God to please forgive you and open your eyes to see the area you to correct your children. If you know your daughter is already misbehaving, call them in. Pray for them. I thank you for taking your time to watch this video to the end. As you don't listen to this video now, I beg, make you help share this video so that make people for learn from what they are supposed to talk for this video. Thank you for watching down AIG YouTube.